Is there much cuter than yeah. Suki and her baby? Look, you Nuki. You might find it odd hearing a guy say something's cute or whatever, but I like little baby animals too. Shh, don't tell nobody. So you think that one was cute. What about Stinky Boy? Or Stinky Boy's babies. size of my hand. Look at that. And another little buckling. Oh, y'all are so cute. Oh, wait till Andrea sees y'all. I told you she was close, and I think that was yesterday or the day before. That was yesterday. I knew she was acting like she was getting close. I didn't even come feel of her ligaments, but just could tell by the way she was acting. Kept laying down, getting up, moving around. She was starting her laboring process, so. All went good. Two healthy little boys. I noticed that when I was out here seeding a while ago. I seeded all of this dirt behind me. All the way up there with some buckwheat. And I put some sunflowers in it, mixed a few zinnias in it. Buckwheat for my bees. Be nice right there in their front door, huh? Speaking of the honeybees, Check this out. Look what Andrea come outside and found. Okay, so the kids and I are out here feeding. I'm not gonna show you myself because I'm in pajamas. It's ridiculous. But I look up and this is what bees look like when they're swarming. See if I can zoom in. I hope y'all can see it. So look at that tree. There's millions of them in the air. They're coming out of that third hive from the left I've seen a swarm like this one other time and when they really get organized they will fly like a cloud to wherever they're going right now they're probably looking for a spot where they're gonna land in fact I think I see the swarm up in that tree I just saw it I don't know if y'all can see it and sorry for my terrible camera work and I'm not gonna get any closer because I don't want to get stung but I think the wad is up in that tree. They've just not all lit in it yet. I don't know if y'all can see it at all. Look low to the right on the tree. That branch that's kind of sticking off to the side. Right up in the middle, you can see a big black wad. All right, I'll keep y'all posted. That right there is a swarm of bees. And I'm going to show you how to catch a swarm of bees when you find them on a tree or something like that trees do work better because you'll see why in just a second so all i'm doing is taking a nuke box i've got frames in here inside of it some of them's got drawed out combs some of them are fresh you get it right underneath them
trying to find the hardest part of the limb which is going to be the right here the bigger part you grab that limb be ready because it's they're going to be heavy you get right underneath them they're all in my lap <laughs> Let them start going down, just in case the queen's still up in here. We're gonna give them another good shake here in just a second, but I'm letting them, trying to let them go down. Just like that right there. I'm gonna leave it there because they got all the, the pheromones in the air here. They'll end up going in this box. Easy as pie. All right, guys, it has been another busy day here on the homestead. I think Ben told you that he's been spreading buckwheat seed and noticed uh, honey bun, our goat, having babies. Um, so that's really exciting. I don't know if he told you they both wind up being little boys, which that's fine. I'd rather have girls, really. They sell better, but um, you find the right buyer, and especially both of these have really beautiful eyes. Our uh, Billy is really pretty for a billy the one we call stinky um he throws really good babies usually they have blue or green eyes so these are really cute i'll take you out there real quick before i wrap this up and show you we are on i don't know if you can see behind me the final 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 leg of the water project i know we keep saying that but there's been so many legs of this project we had to lay all that massive amount of line weld it bury it and now we're up here in the backyard. We're hooking into the well. You can see that's the well right there. Um, we've already dropped a pump down it, but now Ben is over there fixing to, he's been digging to get the water line over there. It's gonna go right by my red barn. Gonna install a pressure tank because we're watering these cows with city water right now and we're getting really nervous about how expensive that water bill is gonna be. So anyway, we're wrapping this up. I'm about to go root some more sweet potatoes because I planted quite a bit, but I want to plant a lot because we really like sweet potatoes. So that's what we're up to today. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna go show you the baby goats one last time and give you a look at what Ben's over here doing. And uh, after that, we will see you guys tomorrow. We're busy, busy, busy getting things wrapped up so we can head to Baker Creek this weekend. Super excited about that. Hope you're coming. Uh, we're leaving farm sitters here at the farm and we're getting away for the weekend. We're really excited about that. Baker Creek offered to get us a place to stay because we're going to be one of their speakers. But we decided we thought we'd rather camp. So we will be camping. So if you're camping, let us know. Maybe we'll run into you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. This is a hard working dude. He works all day at his real job and comes home and works some more almost every day. And here is his right hand man. You did good, honey boy. Y'all are so precious. I don't know if y'all can tell how tiny these are. Honey bun, their mama, is about the size of our lambs. So these little guys are not much bigger than our cat. Actually, I think our cat's bigger than them. They're like a very, very small house dog. And just on cue, here's their daddy. <laughs>